Uh, yeah, so it's uh, nice to be here. Um, yeah, I work at uh, the, the office uh, over there. So it's uh, but uh, uh, it's uh, nice to meet uh, all the people from from everywhere uh, working on these kind of topics. Um, and uh, yeah, so in a great fast, uh, this is an open source uh, MATLAB toolbox uh, that we've been uh, working on. You can find it on uh, GitHub, and uh, it's uh, it's solving basically um, the the same the same problem as. Uh, the energy est function in the system identification toolbox that's in uh, uh, in matlab uh, but uh, in a different way so it's uh, if you give it uh, some uh, ods uh, of the system and uh, you yeah i mean ods that depend on uh, on uh, the theta parameters here and uh, you also give it some initial guess for these parameters, uh, and you give it the measured output and inputs, and you choose uh, a method uh, out of those uh, that are available. I will go into those in detail uh, later. Then uh, it it formulates uh, an optimization problem uh, using uh, a tool called uh, Casadi, and solves uh, it using uh, the uh, the NLP solver called IPOPT uh, in order to give you a parameter estimate. And uh, basically, yeah, the, the features of it or how is it different? Um, it's, uh, yeah, we, we uh, wanted it to be fast uh, in order to, if you want to combine uh, identification with, for example, model predictive control, uh, and then you want to uh, like update the parameters uh, in, in in real time, um, then uh, then this thing uh, can count. So in in uh, uh, our comparison uh, on on the EMPS system, it was uh, a magnitude faster for a single shooting formulation than the uh, than the the MATLAB uh, toolbox uh, implementation, uh, because uh, this tool can uh, do some uh, things uh, in computationally efficient way, um, and. Uh, yeah, the other thing is uh, it supports uh, some formulations of the problem uh, that are more robust uh, with respect to the model becoming unstable. Yes, so that's uh, been a topic uh, a few times uh, on this workshop uh, already. Uh, how do we uh, solve that? Um, so basically, yeah, my, my personal experience with, uh, with ident identifying uh, these kind of uh, models, uh, the, these nonlinear state space models, then it's sometimes we just uh, don't get a solution. The solver doesn't find anything, uh, and even if we do, then uh, yeah, it's uh, sometimes it's a, a local minimum that uh, doesn't really, uh, in the end, it uh, it doesn't really capture the dynamics. Uh, uh, the, the resulting model is uh, not working uh, or not working nicely on the validation data, and 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 stuff. So it's there are things that we can do. Certainly, we can. Uh, we can try to improve the model, like change the equations, or try to find better initial parameters, or uh, or improve uh, the measurements, like measure more things, uh, uh, measure the states if possible. Um, but what this toolbox uh, can help is uh, to formulate the problem differently, to still uh, possibly to, so to find a, a solution with a higher chance, and also uh, if we if we can measure the states then uh, you, we, we can use it in a clever way. Um, and so on, uh, we have uh, made a comparison of uh, these uh, different shooting type methods uh, with respect to the robustness uh, mentioned and the running time on the EMPS system uh, using both our toolbox and the one of, of MATLAB. And yeah, the, the EMPS, I think uh, most of you uh, know it uh, already. Uh, I'd like to say thanks again to uh, the authors who shared uh, the the data set and the model because uh, it was very useful um, so basically uh, yeah this one in in the original paper uh, there was this uh, the item ls method uh, i will not go into that in detail uh, now but it only works uh, if uh, the yeah that part of the equation is is uh, uh, linear in in the dynamic coefficients um, we, we changed uh, the equations, we used a little bit different model for the friction, where you have uh, a parameter inside the nonlinearity 
then you cannot use this model anymore. Um, and but you can still use uh, the you can still use uh, like our toolbox uh, and the single shooting formulation. Um, so this is also the formulation that uh, the MATLAB toolbox can do. It cannot do the the other ones uh, like the multiple shooting uh, and and so as far as I understand. Um, so yeah, this is uh, I just uh, visualized this. Uh, probably it's uh, for the more senior people. It's not going to be a, a big deal because you already know this how these things work. But uh, nevertheless, uh, I hope that uh, uh, it will help uh, understanding for for some people. For some people. So nevertheless, uh, yeah, we start from. Uh, we, we, uh, yeah, that part, those, those are the two parts, right? Measured output, simulated output, and the simulated output we get by uh, doing a free run simulation starting from a decision variable here, step by step. So that's what happens. And uh, certainly the F and the G come from there, from the model. And uh, the, the theta, that is uh, also a parameter. Uh, for all of, for for all of those, and they also depend on the measured input. So it's uh, kind of visually what happens or what that formula does. But problem with this is the recursion that we have, uh, like uh, uh, because we 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 uh, do this uh, free run simulation, then in the end uh, we might end up uh, at some uh, very big values. Uh, like that's what we. And we see that the model becomes unstable for certain uh, ranges of the uh, of the space of the decision variables, and that's uh, yeah that, that's that's a problem because uh, if we have uh, our solver start from there, um, and it takes yeah there there are the optimal parameter values and it takes steps, and then it walks into that region, then we usually get some kind of error. Uh, with uh, the nuns detected inside the matrices of the solver, the internal uh, data structures. That's what that what happens in uh, most of the, uh, also in other uh, toolboxes or software, you see something like this. Um, if you start from there, then it happens right away. You cannot, uh, the solver cannot even start. So that's why, uh, yeah, the, yeah, and also it's, it's another uh, thing that, uh, there are yeah this certainly this is a non-convex uh, problem and the the objective uh, so there are other formulations where the objective is smoother um, so uh, when I talk about robustness it's against these problems yes <laughs> so that's it then uh, uh, let's take a look at other formulations that are uh, hopefully better so the multiple shooting it looks like this. Um, yeah, so we have uh, quite some decision variables there, uh, quite a lot. Um, one for uh, each of the each of the uh, samples, basically, because it looks like that. Then, um, so yeah, those are those, uh, and we only only take one step from each of them uh, to get uh, the simulated output, and um, yeah, it's still the, the the objective still looks the same. But how it's uh, built up is different, um, and we also have those constraints uh, that uh, make sure that these so-called subrecords, the, the end of uh, uh, a subrecord matches the beginning of the next subrecord. So that's uh, how it works, and uh, yeah, this makes it uh, the, these uh, constraints and decision variables make it uh, computationally more heavy. Um, so oh, that's a, a problem, uh, but on the other hand, uh, this objective is much smoother, no recursion, um, and it's able to pass uh, uh, parameter, uh, uh, or, yeah, it's, uh, so basically ranges in the decision variables uh, space where it used to be uh, unstable. So uh, yeah, this the, the, the smoothness uh, has been analyzed, uh, or smoothness of multiple shooting has been analyzed by Antonio Ribeiro, I hope I'm saying his name correctly. And then uh, I also seen this this multiple shooting uh, formulation is uh, not new either. It has been uh, for for the polynomial nonlinear state space models uh, has been uh, in the work of uh, Anfam Mulders. Um, now, uh, yeah, my my toolbox uh, works in a general 
set of uh, suburbs for a general set of uh, state space uh, models uh, or nonlinear state space models. You don't have to, like, it doesn't have to be polynomial. It you, it can be uh, something else as well. Yeah. So it's. Um, and then also there's a, a formulation uh, where you can basically control the recursion depth. Um, so you ha can have a, a, the sub records, uh, the, the length of the sub records uh, you can choose. That's also available in this toolbox. And uh, yeah, this uh, is uh, it's possible to find compromise between the robustness and computational complexity in that case, uh, or at least that's the goal with changing uh, the, the sub-record length. And that's uh, also been uh, for the p polynomial mode uh, uh, in the thesis of Anfa murders. So then uh, what else uh, can we do if we, yeah, for electromechanical systems, uh, we can usually measure uh, uh, some states and infer some other states from them, uh, like the, the velocities from, uh, from positions using finite differences. This is possible to do. Um, and if we can do that, uh, then we can also use them as uh, initial uh, values for, for all the, the phi uh, decision variables uh, over here for the multiple shooting type methods. And we can also um, minimize uh, the vast uh, head prediction error uh, starting from uh, the fixed uh, states. Like if we, we take those from uh, measurements and they are then not decision variables anymore, uh, that's possible to do. And uh, yeah, this, you can also do this uh, with, with this toolbox. Basically, um, you can choose this formulation. Um, then it becomes a, a quite a simple nonlinear least squares problem, which is fast to solve usually, but uh, it only works if we can measure or infer all the states and uh, if uh, yeah, we use finite differences, then uh, the model will not be that accurate in simulation. So that's uh, afterwards. Uh, yeah, I combine it with uh, doing single shooting afterwards to refine the parameters, um, and then uh, we get a, a more accurate model. Uh, yeah. So then the comparison uh, we have made. Um, so I generated a uh, hundred different. Uh, inputs and outputs uh, using the uh, yeah the, the model of the EMPS. For EMPS, there's only one uh, data series, I think, or two, one for training and one for validation. But uh, even those are, uh, I think, the underlying simulating model is different. Nevertheless, so it's only two comes with it. So we wanted the 100. Uh, we generated the data. Um, and then uh, done the identification with both uh, tools. Uh, in case of initial parameters in a non-contractive or a contractive region, I mean in a, a, the stable and unstable. Uh, a is the unstable, of course. And then uh, check the in how many cases uh, uh, did we converge uh, to the right uh, local minimum where the the relative error. Uh, of the of the simulation uh, of the identified the model is is under threshold, and then uh, what I have seen in that particular case, yeah, this is how we it's the same way as from the paper. Um, so the different methods. Uh, so in the in, in the graph, uh, basically from multiple shooting we go up to uh, single shooting. In between, there's the partial constraint. So these ones, and uh, there are two cases of sh single shooting. There's one with the MATLAB tool, and all the others are for, for with our tool. Okay, yeah. So basically, in, uh, uh, if we start from a non-contractive region, then uh, it was uh, the multiple shooting uh, type methods. They could not solve all the cases, um, and uh, the minimizing the, the one step ahead prediction starting from those uh, uh, fixed uh, initial states uh, was uh, yeah it, it it worked basically nicely if you if we combine it with uh, with single shooting afterwards that we get uh, quite accurate uh, parameter estimates or at least the simulation was uh, was nice and um, yes uh, 
It's the, the relative errors were quite low in that case. And uh, running times was uh, the second best uh, with respect to, yeah, uh, the first one was, uh, was uh, the PAM alone, but that was not very accurate in simulation. But, but so this, this uh, nevertheless, this requires uh, that uh, like the combination of uh, this uh, minimizing one's prediction and then doing single shooting it requires that you can measure all the states or, in, or infer all of them. So basically that's uh, what you cannot do all the time. But then you can still use uh, the multiple shooting or partially constrained multiple shooting. Yeah. So that's uh, that was for the the comparison of the two two toolboxes. Yeah. On the single shooting one, uh, as basically the same result. I think I already explained at the beginning of the of the talk. Um, yeah. So that's uh, that was uh, the comparison was made on this EMPS system. Um, yeah, so that's a kind of a summary uh, of uh, like the most uh, robust method in this particular case with respect to unstable initialization was uh, doing this minimizing the advanced perhaps prediction uh, and then uh, then uh, refining uh, the, the parameter estimate with single shooting. Um, then what else about this toolbox? Um, you can find uh, some examples. I, I tried to document as much as possible. Um, yeah, so it's uh, you. You run this code, then you get the uh, the, the uh, parameter estimates, and then uh, the the relative errors on uh, the data set uh, of the EMPS uh, that uh, yeah, the measured one. <laughs> then uh, there is also uh, yeah, it's uh, this is on the GitHub page. There are quite some visual things there for documentation of uh, how does it work, also some additional things on how the code is uh, related to different parts of the formulas. I'm experimenting with uh, these uh, to, to make it more understandable. Um, and uh, yeah, what, what else uh, is uh, uh, with, with this toolbox you can, uh, I mean, I've, I've already tried the, the, the unconstrained multiple shooting method of, uh, of uh, Jan de Kuyper. Uh, so it's uh, like uh, when you do uh, the, yeah, we, we start from uh, very small uh, sub records. Uh, basically, we do multiple shooting, but without the constraints. And then, uh, in a, in an iterative way, we we increase the size of the sub record length, uh, and then uh, as the size of the sub records, and then we get to single shooting in the end. It's uh, possible to to formulate. Uh, uh, this basically and, and do this iteratively. Um, also, it's possible to make some combinations of the methods uh, mentioned, like uh, you can just fix uh, some of the initial states uh, to the measurements and some others you can let uh, to be optimized. Uh, you can uh, put constraints on some of the states, but you can let uh, others uh, not have the constraints. So it's uh, there are still some things uh, can be experimented with. Um, yeah, um, and also you can, uh, in this combination, you can also change the, the sub-record length. So that's uh, basically it. Uh, thank you for your attention. If you have any questions, uh, let me know, and you can talk to me.